Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do something a little different where I talk through what I would have done differently when building out my wardrobe if I could kind of repurchase everything all over again and just build a capsule wardrobe. So hopefully this video will be useful for anyone who's thinking about investing in certain pieces and not sure if it's really going to be worth it or not, or maybe you're just like not super into shopping, but you really want to have a classic versatile wardrobe. This could be helpful to be sort of a guide for you to know what are the cornerstones potentially in a great wardrobe. So if you like my style, hopefully you'll like this video. I'll also talk about the things that I've found over the years that I actually don't find to be quite useful for my wardrobe. So things that I've stopped purchasing a lot of, and that is, for example, dresses. I really don't, I try not to buy a lot of dresses anymore just because I find that I can't mix and match them as much as I'd like and I don't get as much wear out of them as I'd like. So I will talk through each sort of item that I think is an absolute staple to have in a capsule wardrobe. Starting with, what should I start with? I'll also warn you that this video does sort of veer on the fall winter-esque side. Of course, there will be some spring pieces into this, but like the spring summer, that's kind of a different story. <laughs> so classics that you should have in your wardrobe, I would absolutely start with a really nice black blazer. So having a black blazer is, it's a staple for many reasons. You can dress it down by pairing it with a great pair of jeans or leather pants and sneakers, or you can dress it up with a pair of trousers. My personal favorite blazer of all time, I would buy this again 10 times over, is any blazer by Stella McCartney. She makes incredible clothing, but her blazers, I just love exactly where they hit, especially the single button blazers. They just nip you in at the waist and they have this gorgeous sort of like stitching detail on them and a little bit of a shoulder padding. I just feel like you get this gorgeous silhouette with them and they just look so classic and they wear so well. Like most of the items that I get, or at least the designer items that I get, I did get this blazer off of the Real Real, but honestly, I would have bought this full price from her. It is such a beautiful blazer. So it's great to have sort of a black oversized blazer, I would say. It's also nice to have a little bit more of like a fitted black blazer. And my personal favorite is this one by Helmut Lang. And the reason I love Helmut Lang is because of the cut of the blazer. I mean, first of all, I love any jacket that is a bit cropped in the sleeve and it has this gorgeous, just sort of like triangular cut about it with the buttons. It has this very signature sort of like reverse lapel on top where it doesn't actually have the traditional sort of blazer look to it. So it feels very sleek, very modern, and it has a little bit of a cropped sort of fit to it. There are tons of blazers just like this all over the real reel, but this is a really, beautiful blazer that I think can once again be dressed up or down. I would pair this blazer with a really sleek pair of gray trousers and some loafers. If I was wearing this into the office, it's definitely appropriate, but still gives you like a little bit of the edge with the leather cutouts. I also have a version of this with the leather sleeve. It could look great put over a dress if you're kind of going from day to night. It can look really nice with a pair of just gray jeans or blue jeans. So yeah, I really, really, really big fan of this Helmet Lang blazer as well as the Stella McCartney blazer. Now, some other things or some other pieces, I should say, that have been absolute staples in my wardrobe are definitely having a suit. And more of a, I would say, if possible, it's great to have a casual suit as well as a more sort of like dressed up suit. I've done a whole video about suits and where I like to get them and how I like to purchase them, but this honestly is one of my favorite suits of all time. This is from H&M. It was not an expensive suit, but the reason that I love suits and why I think they're such a good addition to your wardrobe and to a capsule wardrobe is that you can be really formal and wear it as a suit with a button up shirt and pumps into 
an office-like setting. You can wear it, you know, to a wedding if you want. You can dress it down and wear it with tennis shoes and a t-shirt and look super casual, but still put together if you have more of like a business casual office type environment. Or even the best part about suits is that you can break them up. So you're getting more for your wear. I love having this gray vest. I love bringing these on trips because I get a lot more outfits out of it, which is everything that you'd want out of a capsule wardrobe is getting tons of different outfits out of it. And being able to have a pair of gray trousers independently and a gray vest is the dream and you can make so many different outfits out of it. It's so nice. Now, Another thing outside of that is having a vest. I absolutely love this long line vest. This is from Forever 21. So once again, it doesn't have to be expensive. I wear this so often. I think it's such a great layering piece when you want to just add a bit of like visual interest to an outfit, whether you're wearing a plain black t-shirt and some jeans or you're wearing a you know, button up and trousers, it can really just add an extra bit of interest to the outfit and just make it a lot cooler. You can put it over a dress. I really like vests like this over more like body con dresses where maybe I wouldn't feel as comfortable with it being so form fitting, but adding a loose vest over it would make me feel more comfortable. So having a long line black vest like this in black or gray is an absolute must. Now I wanna talk about pants a little bit because this this is an interesting category and you know what this changes over time but i will say the number one pair of well there are two pairs of pants that i personally think everyone should have in their wardrobe and that is a pair of black trousers and a pair of leather pants I wear black trousers a hundred times more than I ever wear jeans. And honestly, I think at this day and age, in a post-pandemic world, we are used to being comfortable. I like being comfortable. I love wearing like a super high waist pant that's not super tight on me. And black trousers for me just check all the boxes. They can be formal, they can be casual, but most importantly, they are comfortable. They are so so comfortable, so versatile. I love the sort of menswear aspect to them. So a nice pair of black trousers is an absolute must foundational piece. And for me, a pair of leather pants is also a must. You can get some really great ones off of the real real so you don't have to pay three and four hundred dollars. I've gotten these for as inexpensive as a hundred dollars off of the real real, which honestly is a steal for leather pants. And the reason I love leather pants so much, and I think they're such a staple to every wardrobe, is that even though certain styles, like the skinny jean, might go in and out of style, I really love mixing textures because obviously I don't mix a lot of color. And there's a reason for that. I like having a capsule wardrobe where everything you can mix and match very easily. I think you get way more wear out of your wardrobe when you're not dealing with a lot of colors and patterns. And so that's why I tend to stick to either blacks or grays, or if I am doing a color, it's like a very neutral nu neutral blue color or like a camel where it can be easily mixed and matched with things. So I really try to stay away from mixing, you know, different patterns and colors unless there's something really classic like stripes but I do love mixing textures. And so having a pair of leather pants really inserts an exciting new texture to an outfit. Leather pants look amazing with you know rough sweaters, with button ups, with camel coats. They just provide such a nice visual contrast to the eye in terms of making your outfit more interesting. And frankly, making you just look cool. <laughs> like leather is, is frankly a staple. It's, it's cool, it's never going out of style, and honestly, it's very comfortable as well. I find leather pants have a lot more stretch and a lot more give than traditional jeans do. So these two are the pieces that I wear all of the time, all of the time in my wardrobe. However, if you are going to wear denim, which I do think you should have classic denim pieces in your wardrobe, these are personally the ones that I would opt for. So I have the ones that I'm wearing, which are 
too many hangers. The ones that I'm wearing are a very classic Levi blue. And I think everyone should have this particular type of denim just because it's casual, the blue matches with everything, and you're never gonna go out of style. A Levi jean is a classic. So I do love a blue denim, especially for spring and summer. I think it looks really fresh. I love nothing more than a black or gray denim. So honestly, most of my denim is black or gray. I only have a few pieces of blue denim and I really prefer this because once again, it just matches with everything really well. These Zara jeans are my favorite, absolute favorite jeans. I love them because they're high-waisted. They're not a skinny jean. They're more of a straight leg sort of boot cut, but they're cropped. And they really just go with everything, but the fact that they're gray, sort of black, they could also be a little more formal, which is nice. And so you're just gonna get a lot of versatility and having a nice high waist jean that like sucks you in and makes you feel good is definitely a, a must have in your wardrobe. And I know that skinny jeans are technically out, but I do think having a nice pair of skinny denim if anything, just to tuck into boots. I think it's important if you wanna wear great boots, which I will go into all of the sort of foundational footwear pieces that I think you should have. It's important to have a skinny jean. So yes, you might not wear the skinny jean all the time, but it really does help to have a skinny jean that you can tuck into a combat boot or with a nice loafer. And I do love a high waist, once again. Frame denim is my personal favorite. You can get these on the Real Real for $40 or less, which is fantastic. I just think that their denim stretches really well, holds you in in all the right places, and washes very well. So I'm a huge, huge fan of frame denim. And then kind of on the black trousers note, I think having a nice pair of tailored black shorts, uh, they do the same job, right? Where, But the thing that's cool about a nice pair of shorts is that it really gets you through all the seasons and having them a high waist you can dress them up you can dress them down they are really applicable to anything you want to do and you can even sort of make a little mini suit out of them if you want to wear a blazer over it but they're just going to go with everything which is awesome then there are some definite basics for your wardrobe you should have a black pair of leggings for sure, in the same way that the black skinny jeans are gonna serve you, having just a, a basic pair of black layer, layering leggings <laughs> is a must. And kind of on that note, having really basic black sort of t-shirts or tank tops, this Zara one with this sort of unique cut, I would say invest in a cut that's really flattering on you. Another cut that I find particularly flattering is sort of this like haltery look about it but having just really nice basics that you can throw on underneath things in a neutral color will really make getting dressed easy and let the more special items like a nice blazer shine because you're not really worried about what you're wearing underneath of it so having a good tank top in black as well as white my frankie shop eva tank is a wonderful layering piece it's high neck, you have a nice little shoulder pad detail. I can tuck it into things, there's not too much bulk. It really serves as a good layering piece and I can wear it year round, which is nice. I did a whole video about Marcella, so I won't go into their stuff too much, but having like a black turtleneck, so Marcella is great and Uniglo also makes some really great not bulky, they're once again, very skim to the body. You can layer pieces with it. That's definitely a staple. And then having a really fantastic black t-shirt. Now you can get t-shirts from anywhere as expensive as James Pierce, which has very soft sort of beautiful linen-esque t-shirts. But I will say my favorite black t-shirt is actually from Matches Fashion. It's their in-house brand and it's called Ray. And I love this t-shirt. I actually think I might want to get this in white as well. It's kind of an oversized black tee, but this is such a good basic t-shirt. So having this in black and white to just wear under all of these other amazing pieces is so, so important to have. 
And then some other classic pieces that I 100% stand by, I have a ton of them in all my videos, but are some button up shirts. A button up shirt can be dressed down, it can be dressed up. I think you're sensing a theme here <laughs> in, in things that make up uh, a good object to have in a capsule wardrobe. It's having something that's versatile, having something that can match with lots of things, having things that can be dressed up or down, if anything falls into that category, it's probably a good candidate to invest in and have in your capsule wardrobe. And button-ups are certainly that. I think it's great to have a long sleeve white button-up and a short sleeve white button-up. I've talked about this in the past, but I personally am not a big fan of cotton button-ups. I prefer like an Oxford fabric, like this one from H&M. This is one of my absolute favorites and having like a big oversized one and then having one that is easier to tuck into things and it's a little more streamlined potentially, but both of these are not cotton, which I love, makes it very easy to wear them and steam them. And I just find cotton to be a little bit high maintenance. And along that same line, this oversized blue shirt, a lovely button up, is just another great layering piece and it's in that same Oxford material that I love. I just find it to be thicker, it doesn't wrinkle as much, and yeah, having clothes that aren't super hard to take care of is very important because you're gonna end up loving those clothes instead of resenting those clothes. And then some other staples are going to be your warmer pieces, so like your sweaters and your outerwear pieces. Sweaters are such a game changer for me. Honestly, you can, I really recommend investing in a nice sweater vest, once again, because it's a great layering piece and it can make it any outfit sort of go from okay to really interesting very quickly. And honestly, I just like having my arms free. <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, sweater vests from H&M and I just like having a plain black shape to it, very modern. It just goes with a lot. And then having a really classic sweater. So this is a beautiful one from Zara where it's just black and cream. Once again, very neutral colors, but it looks really beautiful with any of the pieces here, whether that be jeans or trousers. And it just, it's very heavy. Feels really good when you put it on as far as like, just feeling like there's substance there. And then the other two sweaters that I highly recommend are big oversized sweaters. So having a nice cable knit sweater, as well as my black Koss sweater. I love having oversized sweaters where you can throw over, you know, those leggings or those leather pants and really wear sweaters and boots and a nice big oversized jacket. And that really makes for a very visually interesting outfit. So these are two of my favorite sweaters. This is an H&M sweater that I, I can't even tell you how many times I've worn this over the summer. I love, over the summer, over last winter. I just love the cable knit detail. It adds some interest. I love a really high, you're sensing a theme here, right? I love a high neck sweater that has this sort of thick detailing at the top. This is like the find of century. I love this sweater from Co. It's super, super heavy. It feels just, it's really beautiful. It's, it's very well made and having a nice big black sweater is just easy to pair and add on top of an all black outfit already. So now when it comes to shoes that I think make for, oh, my coats as well. Shoot, I forgot. Once again, a vest, having this really gorgeous sort of gilet as the Brits would call it, once again, adds visual interest, but it's nice for those sort of transitional seasons where maybe it's a little cold out, and but you still wanna have your arms free or you can wear a sweater underneath. Just a beautiful classic sort of layering piece. And I love the buttons in the front, it's gorgeous. And then definitely investing in beautiful coats. I think, Coats and purses and shoes, that's kind of the first thing someone sees when they look at an outfit and it can really elevate your outfit or de-elevate your outfit. So investing in having some beautiful wool coats, 
I've talked about both of these coats, but this one from Totem that I have in a lovely camel, as well as this black coat from The Row. I just love, 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 love these coats. And I feel like they really make any outfit that I'm wearing very special. Now let's jump into shoes that I think are great foundational pieces. In the non-boot category, <laughs> I wear a mule personally nonstop. They're very easy to get on and off, and especially one that has a little bit of a nice hardware on them. These Gucci Princeton slides are some of my absolute favorites just because of the ease and the versatility and because of the fact they really do elevate a very basic outfit without screaming that they're a particular designer. Like you can look at them and see that they're Gucci, but they don't say like Gucci all over them, which is nice. Another classic, once again, very comfortable, easy to throw on, staple style is a nice loafer. Whether that be the Prada loafers or these Louboutin loafers, a loafer that has a nice little bit of like interesting detail to them that can really make some of these more basic items really special, fantastic. And a loafer, once again, versatile. You can wear it to work, you can wear it on the weekend, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. There's never, an inappropriate place to wear a loafer other than to the gym. <laughs> like there really isn't. It's it's just a very versatile shoe. And when it comes to boots, I would say there's really two types of boots to have in a capsule wardrobe. I think having sort of a fun, chunky, combat-esque boot that looks really great with leggings and leather pants and big blanket coats a very comfortable boot that goes up higher but is still flat. You're gonna get a ton of wear out of this because you can still walk in it, but it's very visually interesting in the fact that it goes further up your foot and it has a little bit of a trend factor to it. And then I think it's great to have a really classic sort of booty-esque boot. These are some of my favorite boots of all time. These were literally the purchase of a lifetime. I got these from The Real Real. These are Brunello Cuccinelli booties. But what I love about them is that they're almost like a little high heel where you have a tiny, tiny bit of a heel. They're almost like an Oxford kind of, actually more so than a boot. But they're a low booty that still look beautiful and formal with the pointed toe. So I could absolutely wear this with any of my suits or with like a nice dress but I can still make it very casual. And because it's very low in terms of how high it goes up on the ankle, I can wear this with a wide variety of pants, which is nice, or even have tights that look great with them. So these are boots that I grab over and over and over again that really go with any outfit that I've been putting together in the winter. Now when it comes to having a nice pair of heels, I know I have a lot of heels. If you haven't seen my Jimmy Choo video, you should take a look at that. I have quite a few, but there are some really staple pumps that I, I think are great investment pieces when it comes to a capsule wardrobe. And I think having a nice pair of just classic pointed pumps. These are both Manola Blahniks. Honestly, I find these to be so incredibly comfortable and you might be looking at this and saying like, but wait, that's color. <laughs> I find that this color actually goes with so many things and it's kind of nice to have a beautiful pop of color. So for me, investing in a beautiful pair of shoes like this, that's gonna go with everything on here. Uh, anytime you just feel the need to like dress up a little bit, if this heel kind of scares you, they make that similar shoe in a smaller heel. I just think it's always, whether you're used to wearing heels or not, and you're comfortable with heels or not, it's very important to have a nice like pair of heels on hand because you never know when you're gonna need to wear one, whether that be to a funeral, to a wedding. It's just good to have a pair of shoes on hand. And the nice thing about these suede pumps, once again, is that you can dress it up, you can wear them at night, you can wear them during the day to work, or yeah. Day or night, day or night. Even though I also think it's fun to invest in one really nice, beautiful, uh, what's the word? Dressy, <laughs> dressy pair of pumps. So it is cool to have a fun glittery pair that 
you can take any of these outfits and really elevate it and make it dress up. But once again, it's got that very classic shape. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your toes hanging out at a work event if you feel like that's awkward. <laughs> so I really do think this is a nice classic shape for a capsule wardrobe. And then I think it's really important to have a classic sneaker. So I would highly recommend going for one of the above. So a pair of Vans is a great classic item, you know, nice chunky platform heel sole. I don't know what you call it. It's fantastic. Also a pair of Converse. These are gonna mix and match with every single thing you have on here and they're gonna be so incredibly comfortable. I also love a pair of Vejas. Really nice way to kind of having a white leather shoe, you know, to throw on with your suit or with denim. So having a nice graphic pair, uh, not too much color, not too much pattern. Obviously you can really wear this with anything, but having a good classic pair of sneakers is definitely a must in a capsule wardrobe. And then the final thing is having a nice bag. So investing in a bag that can really elevate anything that you're wearing, I would highly recommend having sort of a night bag, having a clutch bag. So something like this, where it's just very sleek, very modern, understated, and you know you could toss this with any of these things and be ready to go for a night out. And then I think, Investing in a nice leather bag. Now, granted, you don't have to go as expensive as this, but it is great to have a bag that has versatility as well. The thing that I love about both my Kelly and my Lady Dior bag is that they have top handles, but they also have a crossbody. So I can have a strap that hangs on my shoulder. If I wanna be fancy and cute, I can put it over the crook of my arm. There's just like a lot of different ways that you can wear it. And once again, I feel like both of these styles, you can really dress up and dress down depending on where you're going. So having a nice leather bag with maybe some special hardware to it is really going to elevate any of the outfits that you have here. It's impressive. It's really, really amazing how much you can get out of just this one rack of clothing. Like if this was all that was in your closet, you could make outfits four days with this 